How to install Ansible in Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9.2 RHEL. So first of all, we need a, a running Red Hat Enterprise Linux system. In my case, let me connect remotely via SSH using my username luca at uh, rel.example.com. This is uh, just an imaginary hostname. As you can see, it's the first time I'm connecting, so I need to accept also a fingerprint and enter my password. The authentication method can vary. Okay, now I was typing wrong, obviously, but you can also use the SSH key as authentication system. Once we are inside the system, this is a normal user, so what I'm usually doing is just switching to the root user using sudo su and using my user password. This user has the permission for doing this kind of stuff. So let me check it out. Exact version of the operating system using a cat of slash atc slash red hat dash release this file containing the exact version of your red hat system in this case is red hat enterprise linux 9.2 codename pro we can get the all this information with uh, on any linux system using cat of slash atc slash os release okay the output might vary, but we get a concept. This is Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9.2. So, first of all, I would like to verify what are the available options for Ansible. And we are going to use the DNF Package Manager. This is the official package manager for uh, Enterprise, Red Hat Enterprise Linux for search for alternative of Ansible. Okay, in a blink of an eye, we get some alternative. As you can see, there are some additional content, but the most important is Ansible-Core. This is the platform, the foundation with all the Ansible engine to run our code and manage our system. So let's search for the alternative DNF list. Show us that there is available package, which means not installed in our system and latest version is 2.14.2. Okay, so uh, let's also get additional information using DNF info of Ansible-Core. As you can see, we get more description about what is going to be installed. And Ansible, did, uh, Ansible team did a great job keeping this package as small as possible. As you can see, size is just a three megabyte because all the additional content are available as a collection. Just uh, to double check if I'm typing Ansible dash dash version, as expected, we got a common not found. So now let's move it on. Let's install Ansible using DNF install Ansible dash core command. Okay, we are going to uh, download uh, 20 megabytes of software and with a uh, and install it with an uh, installed size of 88 gig megabyte. So this will be a few packages as expected is installing also the latest Python 3.11 because, well, Ansible rely a lot on Python. Wow, completed. So uh, under, the, under the hood, uh, the DNF packages was taking care of downloading, installing and verifying. So now DNF list, uh, is going to show us installed package, which means that it is successfully installed in my system. As you can see, this is Arch64 architecture, so based on ARM64 processor. So now if we check it out with Ansible-info, it's showing that this package is installed. Cool. So now we are ready to go. If we type ansible dash dash version, this time we are not getting comma not found, but whereas we got uh, the full uh, the full information about Ansible, so we see that is uh, Ansible core 2.14.2 as expected, and also some additional information about Python and Jinja. But a very important uh, library where Ansible is founded. Okay, so now only the sky is the limit because uh, we can start uh, using some Ansible doc command directly from the command line. We can start uh, running an Ansible playbook. We can start installing additional playbook using Ansible Galaxy Utility. We can start creating some inventory with Ansible-inventory utility. 
So we have a plenty of options and now really everything is sorted out uh, and the best part is that uh, Ansible is part of uh, uh, the repository that uh, came with our Red Hat Enterprise Linux uh, system. Which means that every time we would like to update a system, Ansible will keep, will keep up to date. We don't need to rely on uh, additional external repository. Everything is provided by the distribution. Now we can move forward in our automation journey. And just one more tip, how we can maintain up-to-date Ansible? Well, it's super simple. We just need to use DNF update and specify Ansible-core. In this case, there is no action to take because Ansible-core is already up-to-date. So just uh, the sky is the limit now. Let's automate more with Ansible. Have a great day. Bye.